In this video, I've modded the game so that the slipstream gets stronger every lap. I've also removed the dirty air effect, meaning the slipstream will be even stronger. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to leave a like and subscribe, and let's jump straight into it. Gentlemen, you've come to watch me commit more unspeakable acts on the F123 game, and I don't blame you. I guess you could say I changed this game more than Red Bull changes their driver lineup. We always kick off these mod videos in Italy, so let's get this started. And as you can already see, the slipstream effect has been boosted significantly, and slipstreaming is so important around here. So it turns out I didn't turn off the extreme damage from the previous video. I forgot to tell George Russell that we aren't driving for Alpine. I should go pretty well with this mod because I'm already an expert at breaking the wind in other ways. <laughs> Finally making it past turn one for the Italian Grand Prix and that is further than Nick DeVries will go this year. Now we're going to do our best to remain in the suck zone of the car ahead. Not to be confused with the zuck zone. Okay guys, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm done with the bad jokes now. Starting tonight. I'm a man of my word. <laughs> also guys, if you have any ideas for the next mod video, you should let me know in the comments section below so I can steal them. Wow, I guess you could say with this new slipstream mod, the race isn't dragging on at all. Science is doing well to stick with the Red Bulls, but that's only because there's no Ferrari strategy in a one lap race. Whoa, whoa, Verstappen, you're driving more aggressive than the average pit bull there. But I gotta say, the racing has gotten better. We've now taken the lead of the race, but I feared that we've done it a bit too early because now these guys can fight back and they're going to make a move on us through Parabolic as Stroll gets in front, but now we've got the slipstream on Stroll, and it looks like we're going to get the run on him to the line. The others are just a little bit too far back. Oh my god, look at all those cars hunting us down. <laughs> But we've picked up the win for the first race of this mod. All right, we're here for race two in Belgium and the power of the slipstream has been doubled. And for this race, I've turned off damage, not because of my driving or anything. I guess we won't be recreating the Spa 1998 crash today. All right, there's gonna be a lot of slipstreaming on the Camel Straight, so let's see how we go. And oh my God, the slipstream is so powerful that I'm basically stuck in a traffic jam. This is going to be a lot harder than I thought to try and make it through the field here. There is a lot more opportunity to overtake with this mod now, but it looks like I could have almost made it three wide through Puan, but I'm definitely not going to be doing that. All this battling is slowing us down and science is going to get away, so we need to sort this out before we get out of the slipstream of science. Guys, I think we just fell out of the slipstream of Leclerc. I'm going to have to make my car wider than Zach Brown to keep these guys behind. Do you hear that sound? That's the sound of piston number five entering the stratosphere. We've somehow managed to get back into the slipstream of the Ferraris, and we have the opportunity to try and make the move around the outside of Leclerc, but he's just a bit too far ahead, and it looks like the best we can do is our second place, but Science is going to get a better drive than us, and he's going to steal P2 away from us, but that was a pretty intense race. All right, next up, we got a bonus round, and as you know, there's always a twist in my videos, and for this twist, I've turned the dirty air into lift or up force, if you want to call it that. Oh my god, it's already kicking off. Gasly's getting sent into orbit to meet the piston I just sent there. Don't mind me, I'm just going to slip past. POV, you're at the British Grand Prix and your grandstand's not far enough away from the track. The drivers always complain about dirty air, but I feel like I've given them something to really complain about now. Oh my god, don't- Jeez, Alonso's really elevated his finishing positions this year. <laughs> okay, I think we're safe. What's Hamilton going to do? Oh no, I finally understand what they mean by overtake. No, don't do it, Yuki, you're my team. I'm about to show Oscar Piastri what Australia's gravity looks like in Britain. Oh no, I think he's, he's coming back for a revenge. Good evening, this Grand Prix is proudly brought to you by Qatar Airways. Wow, De Vries must have had a turbulent upbringing there. Yeah, this is starting to feel a lot more like 1998. Don't even think about a shoal. Don't even think about cutting me off. No, don't do it. Gentlemen, for my next mod, I will be removing Lance Stroll from the game. Now that was an Oscar worthy performance. Alrighty guys, we're here in Azerbaijan and you know it's only for one reason, because it has a straight longer than Joe Biden's lifespan. Alrighty, it's five red lights and away we go for the Azerbaijan Grand Prix. Slipstream has yet again been doubled since the last round that we had and uh, we've made a bit of contact there with Stroll, but then again, it's pretty realistic for Stroll to be the burden on Aston Martin. Okay, here we go. Here we have a long straight, so let's see how much speed we can build up with Verstappen providing the slipstream and I guess you could say there's more toes than a foot going down that straight we have to stay as close to I think it's George Russell up the front there uh, to make sure he doesn't get out of the slipstream before we reach that final straight you know that's the only thing that really matters it doesn't matter too much what position we are in before the third sector and uh, we don't really need to worry about Leclerc because he won't get past the castle section 
Okay, well, this game isn't realistic at all. Okay, well, we've got a good run on Leclerc here, and with the added slipstream, we're going to be able to go up the inside of what is a corner that isn't really an overtaking opportunity. And the others seem to be getting away, so we need to make sure we catch up to them, or at least the, the slipstream zone, uh, before we reach what is the final corner or the final braking zone and it looks like they're squabbling here george rustling the car around and that's gonna allow us back into this fight let me know in the comment section below who you think's gonna win right now we've got a four horse race here uh five horses if you count the clo and we are currently being blocked here but we're gonna make it four wide but the issue now is we don't have any slipstream to try and get past them so now i'm gonna tuck back into the slipstream of verstappen but it looks like it's just not going to be enough and verstappen gets the win as uh, just about everyone is in the battle now. Look at this stuff. This was the exact reason why we did this race in Azerbaijan. And I hope the FIA is taking notes because making the slipstream stronger and getting rid of the dirty air makes the racing so much better. For the grand final, we have doubled the slipstream effect yet again here in Austria. We're starting near the back, so it's going to be pretty difficult to get anywhere near the front considering Austria is a very short circuit. We've got less chance of winning this race than Logan Sargent driving next year. That's a pretty clean turn one, and we are up into P12 now tucking into the slipstream. The only unfortunate thing is everyone's got the slipstream and Magnuson even comes flying past us as we are later on the brakes. Don't do it, Logan. I swear I didn't mean it. Side by side with Hamilton now. It's going to be a drag race to the bottom of this hill as Verstappen's going side by side with uh, Perez. The Red Bulls battling it out at the Red Bull ring. We took the inside line there so that Hamilton couldn't relocate me to the gravel trap. Podium that looks a certainty has been wiped. Anyways, still stuck behind Hamilton. Luckily, there's no dirty air, so we're going to be able to get all the way over the back of him and uh, look around the outside here as we're still picking up the slipstream from the cars in front and now attacking Verstappen. All the AI have left the door open on the right-hand side here, so we're going to go up the inside and we've been... Hey guys, welcome back to the Track Limits Grand Prix where I'm racing the AI that's more A than I. The average multiplayer experience is cleaner than this race. Looks like it's going to be a drag race to the end and we're going to get just ahead of science to take P2. And despite the AI taking me out in the race, that was a pretty fun one, i got to admit. I hope Codemasters sometime in the future allow us to customize the amount of slipstream, tire wear, fuel burn, all these sort of things that could improve multiplayer or at least spice it up to do something new. I hope they can bring that in the future. But who knows if they'll ever do that. It seems like I bring more updates to this game than they do. If you enjoyed the video or had a laugh, just remember it is mandatory to hit the subscribe button. But in all seriousness, I hope you enjoyed the video and I look forward to making more of these type of videos for you guys in the very near future. Thanks for watching.